Hello, welcome to another video series on firepower threat defense. In this video, we'll, we are going to look at various deployment methods available when you use firepower threat defense. On the high level, when you deploy firepower threat defense, you could either deploy it as next gen firewall or next gen IPS. Let's go a little deeper into this uh, each of the section and see various other deployments within next gen firewall and next gen IPS. The first when you deploy the firepower threat defense as next gen firewall, you have either deployed as a routed mode or transparent firewall mode. When you deploy the FTD as routed mode, the FTD is going to act as a router or route between multiple networks. In this example, the five FTD is deployed between three networks that is inside network, outside and DMZ. All the clients within the inside network, the firewall FTD IP will act as a default gateway. So all the traffic that is passing from one network to the other network it passes through the firepower thread defense where you can create access control policy to inspect right from L2 to L7 inspection. Similarly, when you deploy the firepower thread defense in transparent firewall, this FTD will act as a bump in the wire or a stealth firewall. What you have a bridge group here which will group the both inside network and outside network in a single bridge group. So both the network will be in the same IP domain. So the users who are behind that firewall would not realize that there is a firewall. Uh, even though the firewall is in uh, transform firewall, uh, transform mode, you could use access control policy, uh, pretty much define all the um, policies right from L2 to L7 inspection as it as you do it on routed mode. Moving on to firepower uh, threat defense deploying in next gen IPS, we have two deployment scenarios. One is inline IPS and the second option is passive uh, IPS or IDS. In inline mode, you deploy the firepower thread defense directly or in the line of the packet flow. Say for example, um, the, tra uh, the inside network, um, all the traffic that is going towards your router or the firewall, the uh, next gen IPS can be deployed on the, on the wire. So it's going to inspect all the traffic that is passing through, um, passing through the inside and outside network where you can uh, configure access control policy right from L2 to L7 inspection and uh, take action whether to drop the traffic or to monitor alone. Similarly, when, on, um, uh, when you deploy the FTD on passive mode, so it is not going to be on the inline um, or the on the line of the traffic. It is going to you know, sit parallel to the switch and on the switch, you're going to configure a span uh, span the traffic and then uh, take a copy of a traffic that you want to inspect and then uh, send the copy of a packet to uh, FTD where FTD is going to act like the lat like an IDS and then uh, inspect all the traffic and if it finds any abnormal um, um, pattern it is going to uh, create an alarm but it would not have capability to take in um, action on the traffic that is to drop the tra uh, traffic or reset the traffic uh, in passive mode, it, it, it would not have the capability to capability as it can be done in inline interface. When you deploy the uh, firepower thread defense, you have to either choose between routed or transfer firewall. That is that you can enable through um, configure through CLI. Uh, once you log into either through SSH or through console. Um, you'd be prompted to choose the mode either routed or transmit firewall which I'll uh, show it in upcoming uh, videos once you de decide the box will be either on routed or uh, transmit firewall <coughs> and 
you could use all the interface or some of the interface uh, to be configured as inside outside and uh, outside DMZ uh, networks according to router or transfer firewall <coughs> similarly the um, on on either router or transfer firewall some of the interface can be used as next gen IPS that is it can be allocated as either inline pair or passive interface uh, in this diagram as shown um, the box and the, end, uh, the box can be either routed or transfer firewall and uh, uh, Ethernet 1 slash 1 to 1 slash 6 are being configured as next gen firewall and in interface uh, 1 slash 9 to 1 slash 12 so are being uh, configured as either inline pair or uh, you know uh, promiscuous uh, passive mode which will act as a next gen IPS with this we have come to the end of this video in the next video I'm going to talk about go a little deeper into each of the modes and how we can configure uh, configure it through a uh, fiber management center with that see you in next video thank you